Hi barbecues, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today as you can tell by that title, we have a new explosive video and in today's video, we are going to be doing a collective pot. So today, your girl went to Trinity Mall, Arima and where else did I go? Oh yeah, just Trinity Mall and Arima, right? And I had such a good time buying things, like that is be so cool, like only I don't know if I am the only person but I just enjoy shopping, I just enjoy going to Pennywise Going to the mall, oh my gosh, true value, right? So, this video is gonna be featuring four different stores. But anyways, y'all, before we get into this video, make sure that y'all leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that y'all won't miss any of my uploads if you're new to my channel. Hi and welcome. On this channel, what I do is basically hauls. I'll, these days, all I do is hauls, um, beauty stuff, makeover videos, things like that. That's what I'm into. So if you're into that type of content, make sure that y'all subscribe. But anyways, y'all, and also make sure that y'all follow me on all of my social media platforms, which will be right here on the screen, as well as in the description box below. So, firstly, we're gonna start with the Pennywise stuff because I know that's what you're here for. Like, Pennywise is just, yes. Let, let, me, get into, let me get into the Pennywise things, right? So, I went to Pennywise in Trinity Mall, by the way. Before I start the whole, let me just say, Pennywise and Trinity Mall have the worst customer service out of all the Pennywise that I know. I used to work Pennywise and Arima, and to be honest, we all know all Pennywise have the people that is be moody, grumpy, grimy. But you could have find a good person or two in Pennywise and Arima brand. But you see, Pennywise and Trinity, I'm highly disturbed. If I come to you and I be like, good day, I expect a good day with a smile back. That does make my day, okay? When I say thank you, when you hand me my bill, you say you're welcome. You make me feel welcomed, right? Okay, am I the only person that's thinking like that? Like, this woman was acting like if I was a ghost. This woman was acting like if I was a ghost. I was like, you know, I come up to the, to the counter, good day, nothing. Beep, beep, beep. Time to pay my card, whatever. When I'm done, collect my bill. Thank you. No, I say it properly. Yeah. Thank you. In a good mood. Cause say, all right, she say good day. Okay, okay. Let me just say thanks. Nothing. I feel like if I was a ghost, I was just a robot was just cashing my things. But anyways, it's on God is thing leaking. You know, you know, acetone is always be leaking, right? So, anyways, so let me just get straight into the penny, guys. So firstly, guys, I picked up two makeup bags. Yes, two makeup bags, two matching makeup bags. So I got these two bags for the longest one ever. I wanted some makeup bags and oh my gosh, look how cute. So I really got this one just to put like my combs, beauty stuff. If I'm traveling, I could put my facial products and stuff in it just to stay organized and look cute and feel cute, everything, right? I also got this size, which is a bit bigger. It looks smaller on camera, by the way. Eh? But this would be for my makeup stuff. Let me just show you all how inside it is. I really think that this looks like great quality, by the way. Eh? Like, wow. Well, let's stop. I like how deep it is, and I like how the bottom is flat as well. Um, This is definitely going to fit all of my new makeup brushes that I got from Shein and all my other stuff. So, guys, listen. This bag is so cute. This is the cutest. Quality, amazing. So as I told you all, yes, I got the other one to match it. I'm just remove the second one time. Cabbage. Yeah, so only I just excited to start using this. I peel off this stuff. Anyways, next guys i finally picked up some acetone because you all know in my last haul i was complaining like oh my gosh i forgot to pick up acetone because again i want to try to do a little nail something right anyways yeah so i got this acetone of course they had to open it and cover it back with the bag on it because you all know that these acetone bottles be leaking right if you don't do this it's not going to stay so if you go and they don't give you this ask them for it because it's going to leak out in a bag if you hold it this way when I say it's going to, it's going to. So moving on to the next item. No, it's just on this table in the back. Okay. I also decided to pick up this eight-piece nail art brush set. Right? 
and I told you that I'm going to do my nails and then I, I'm gonna try to do a DIY kind of like self-care high maintenance video I'm going to try to do my nails I say try to I say I don't do that I'm gonna try to my nails the toes everything you know you might want to try a little design on the toes on the big toe you never know so that's why I pick up this right boom I went up by the cashier and decided to get this how much pieces is having it 20 I thought it was 60 so I don't, I don't want to say hey I decided to pick up this 20 piece comfort coated twin blade razors from the brand Post Sona. honestly earlier when I go I just pick up any brand that is pink I don't know why I just like the pink razors but yeah I got these shavers disposable razors and when I was in the line to go on cash I picked up this Kit Kat y'all it's been a minute since I tried pick, tried um, Kit Kat y'all let me know if you all are custom buying this snack or if you all been sleeping on this too because I hardly forgot about this like who does even eat Kit Kat anymore but I know this tastes good though hey guys moving on to the stack and back from Pennywise didn't get much from Pennywise by the way because I was just supposed to pick up two things and this came out with two bags y'all know I had to pick up these hair clips because I love my hair clips and y'all know when I put on that wig I feel like I already say when I put on the wig when I put on the wig Ole, and when I'm gonna do this video, like when, when? Oh my gosh. But Ole, I just understand this thing gonna take a while. Okay, this video is gonna take a while to come out. But yes, I have this cute rose gold kind of clip with has like a diamond effect to it. So beautiful. It's gonna look nice at the side of my shorts here. Yeah, I don't know if it will look good. But I know it will look really cute with the wig or whatever. I also decided to pick up a cute brush from the brand Magic. And y'all, I've been forgetting that I needed a brush. Like every time I go to Pennywise, I keep forgetting. Says pick up a brush because your brush very old. It's not looking good anymore. Get a new brush, right? What is wash brushes? Yeah. Yeah. I'm making a video. You making a video? Yeah. Sorry, wait one. Alright, who's? So guys, um, yeah, who does wash brushes? Like I see people making all kind of life hacks about washing brushes, but like when you brush again, all on the they just throw it away and buy a new one. Because I feel like it is just be looking too old, way too old. Like if you, even if you wash it, or probably I just had my brush for too long. I don't know, cause my brush is looking like mm -mm, times I get a new one. I ain't even gonna show it because it's looking very disgusting. So I got a new brush and I got a small one. And I got a soft brush only. I don't like them hard brushes that when you're thinking. I don't know how well this operates with them hard brush on them. I like this nice soft brush from Magic. So cute. The brush itself just so cute. Okay guys, so I also decided to get my shampoo and my conditioner. And I bought it in the brand Aussie. Right? I've heard about this brand. My sister, she, I remember like probably last year. Two years ago she was telling that she uses this brand the co wash and stuff okay so i'm like yes get this sis purple is the way to go okay okay it wasn't just about the color but it looked it looked good it looked like it works you know parabene free what could go wrong but let's what about the scent though it's smelling very good i just realized it's apricot yes the the um fragrance is apricot it smells so nice i love it already i just hope that it moisturizes my hair because wow and the shampoo is it a shampoo conditioner oh the conditioner smells even better oh my gosh i really hope it moisturizes my hair i mean i'm sure the conditioner will but the suave shampoo i personally feel well for my texture as well as how i relaxed my hair i feel as though like it was just stripping everything from my hair like there was zero moisture in it so i don't know i just like shampoos that is still leave your hair moist Oh yeah, and if you all have any brands that you all want me to try, make sure that you comment because I will try them. I love trying new things. So guys, you all know sis had to pick up them lashes. So this lashes is called Lil Sis. That's the style I got it in. And it's from J Lash 3D Collection. It's lightweight, comfortable. I thought it was really cute and I love how like in the on the inside it started off kind of short and it came out long to the end. I think that is very cute and I think it will act accentuate your eyes a lot the way that they put the lines and whatnot so we will see how that turned out 
Sess also decided to get some makeup remover wipes because Sess and Custom are using baby wipes to clean off her face on her makeup and napkins. So I decided to finally buy some of the Neutrogena makeup removing wipes and to be honest it wasn't that expensive as I thought. So I'm really happy that I got these. Y'all should have Actually I, I want to recommend it over here yet because I ain't used it on my face. <sighs> okay, so don't even get back with me for this one, right? I decided to pick up a pair of velvet scrunchies. Now, sis, why is you buying scrunchies? If you could sew it yourself, if you could go and buy the velvet clothes yourself and sew it. Okay, so to be honest, like for my business, I want to sell these velvet scrunchies. But I've been having some trouble getting it at the cloth store. I know that Jimmy Aboot should have it. But I haven't found the time to go to quite Port of Spain. I really, only I just avoid tongue at all costs. The only time I'm going to be in tongue is if I have a delivery in tongue, which is really. I don't like tongue. I really, only I really don't like tongue. Tongue too big. I just accustomed to Harima. Everything here, just straightforward. You know, I like the east. I like the side. But anyways, um, yeah, so I didn't get the time. And I'm just like, oh gosh. But don't worry, it coming soon for my business page. If you're not following my business page already, make sure that you all follow it. The name will be right here on the screen, of course. Soon I'll start making these once I get onto the material. But for now, you all know I have my satin scrunchies that I make and sell, right? So, I got that for the wig. I only buy one other thing for this wig. I only can't see the wig video yet, eh? I sure only vex with me, don't say nothing, eh? <laughs> So, next we have this Britney cleaning nail brush. Oh, yeah. I was looking for the pedicure scrubbing brush and I never find it. I was like, you know what? They're the closest thing. We will go with this. And it was very cheap. We will go with this. So I got it. Also, guys, I got some foundation. I went with a cheap foundation. I went with the brand LA Girls. I'm really happy to get that cheap one. But, oh gosh, we hope it work good earlier. Um, the reason that I got a new foundation, even though my, the one I have is not even finished or near to finishing, is because I feel as though in real life that foundation makes my face look very orange. I can't go out looking like that. On the camera, for some reason, it looks it does it kind of neutralizes it. Or oh, I don't know if only this notice, but this face is be orange. So I say, you know what? Let me fix up myself. Let me get um foundation. Or well, if you just match me, because I never test it out because I fed up testing out makeup. And they tell me they were shade, and when I reach home, it's not my shade. Because in the store, it has deceived me and all. To be honest, I'm telling you, you're checking your phone, check the lighting, and your phone wants it good, that good. Because you know, you, you want to look good on social media when you take your pictures. But in real life matters too. Eh? Real life matters. You don't want nobody to see you on the media, you're looking nice and thing, and then person is like, oh my gosh, her makeup looking so terrible, you know? So I just had to get my. <laughs> more makeup i got this in case you're all interested i got this in the shade golden bronze the name's so cute um but yeah it's the la girls pro matte and it says high definition long wear matte foundation and i'm very happy that it says matte because my face tends to get really oily really quickly i have to be i have to be like pattern napkin and thing on my face just to take away that extra oil you know so i am so glad i finally got a new foundation it's a long overdue lastly from pennywise i picked up some noxima oh gosh i think i have an obsession with like skincare products or something because if it's one thing sis have two products i have my products on my edges i have my products on my nails i have my products on them right now i just need to go on a ban from buying anything else because i have i have my products but oh gosh i remember when i did use this Back in whatever year, when I was struggling with my little acne and thing, I still struggling, eh? Well, you're probably not seeing it too good in the camera, but I still struggling with my little acne. Um, you all know the survey been working for me. You all know the true skincare been working for me, right? And I'm still using it. The only reason I pick up this is because I love how it made my face, my skin feel refreshed. I don't want to mix up my face too much and add no set of products on my face. So I will try to keep this away from my face, but I'm using it for my back. Like when I be the nothing, and my chest area as well because those areas for me are acne prone. So I need to make sure I be using my products to neutralize everything. And the faster you start dealing with it, with them, is the quicker that the marks would fade. For example, my chest area, like I would get, I could break out now today, and like let's like say by next week, you find it looking like it's fading already. Cause this stuff that I got on my chest, as you can see, like it's fading now, you right? Like I get this probably like three weeks ago. 
and if I continue using them products consistently which I don't it will fade in no time so those areas once I tackle it one time it is good so I want to stay consistent and I just wanted this it just feels so refreshing like if you're using nothing on your face right now and you don't have like bad bad acne or you simply just want that product that's gonna make you feel so refreshed and relaxed because it has the eucalyptus in it which feels similar to like peppermint something I will definitely recommend this for you so we're gonna move on we're jumping from Shen City Mall and we're going to Arima so in Arima your girl pick up like literally one two three four things in what's the name of the store What's the name of the store I went in? K-chan. You can pick up four things in K-chan. Right? So, first when I walk in the store, I saw these cute acrylic paints. For those of you who don't know, I did art for CXE. And I am uh, I'm an art person. Like, I am for the arts. For example, this YouTube thing drawing those things that's my thing the only thing is i never really invested in it and set aside the time and been like consistent to practice and get good on these type of things so i, I say you know what girl it's never too late buy a paint it, it wasn't that it wasn't um that expensive buy a paint you don't have sketch pad you have all kind of thing home that you doesn't ever use buy a paint and practices so i buy the paint <laughs> So I also decided to pick up this pack of always liners and I picked this up because just because to be honest um, I don't know what brand of liner I just want to try different brands to see like which one would be for the best for me so yeah if you all have any other brands to recommend feel free to leave it in the comment section below I'm open to trying new brands and stuff but yes I'm trying this always and I also want to try the Kotex one next the last set of things that I got from Swiss Supermarket, K Chan in Arima, are these two notebooks. And I picked them up, y'all, because I love to journal. Like, I'm not a person, I love to write things down. I like to write down my goals, plan out my day, things like that. I always need to have notebooks on hand because I need to write. I also wanted to start off this thing where, on a daily basis, I like document my feelings, document how I feel about certain things, document what I realize about my behavior, what I realize, okay sis, you know what, you need to change this about you, you need to be more patient. Maybe I could start praying on, it's like a self-reflection kind of thing. So maybe I could start like praying on the things that I would write down and things like that, you know. That's the objective or probably like have, this one is like a five subject notebook so maybe I could have it in sections like self-improvement, journaling, daily planning what else prayer a prayer list or even things i learned from studying the word things like that you know maybe i should have one of these dedicated to like taking on my church notes and things so you know what i think i'll actually do that as i said i love notebooks i always need to have an empty notebook in my house so is that all for the penny wise oh shucks no we don't penny wise long time all right come on son. so next up next up we still in arima we still in arima i went to yuffie's I needed to go to UV to pick up one piece of cloth for a customer because she wanted a bonnet and durag set, a couple set. And I didn't have any more. I ran out of the dark gray material that I told her I had. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to go and buy this quick because I told you I had it and I don't have it. Let me go and buy it. I'm going to restock, right? So, this is the gray satin that I purchased that the girl wanted. It's so pretty. Second material that I picked up is this blueberry print, but I'm gonna call it a plaid print. But we all know it's like blueberry print, right? So I'm gonna make some headbands out of these for my for my business page, and I'm so excited because I know that y'all would love these headbands. I I know, I just know, I just know you would love them headbands. And oh my gosh, them headbands out of this gonna look so cute with the wig I'm only talking about this wig all the time the last piece of material that I picked up is this gorgeous rose gold material and it is giving what it gave to me in the store I don't know about this lighting but in the store it was just like sis you need to buy me because I'm cute so what I really want to do 
the thing is this isn't the regular satin this is valentino satin so it's a little more softer it's a little more flowy and i think for the robes that i'm making for my business page i think i'm gonna make them out of this material because as well i can see it's more droopy compared to this one watch it's more droopy you all see that it's more droopy it's more um relaxed and flowy so i think it will look it will go beautiful for a robe and a pajamas you know those shirt pajamas i really want to make that i only saying i'm making this that and the other and only in see no action that will fix just now because i'm also going to do like a sewing vlog thing where i'll show you all all these things that i've been showing you all in the hauls so just bear with me because that's a lot of work to do guys it's really a lot especially how i have not been that consistent it's going to take a lot of energy for me to get back on track right so pray for me to be honest because i want to get back that zeal to continuously be on the go planning content filming editing post what's next you know finally we are going to move on to our true value stuff oh my gosh so sunday today is wednesday so sunday i posted a poll on my instagram account which if you're not following me on my instagram account i don't know what you're doing you need to go and follow me my instagram is at link 2121 underscore and I posted a poll and I asked y'all, should I make burritos or should I buy pizza? Obviously, all you choose burritos because all you want to see me make thing. I know that's all you want to do now. So, I went out today and I bought the items to make the burritos. I'm going to make it tomorrow morning. Please go on. I'm going to make breakfast burritos. It's going to be, it's going to have beef, turkey, bacon in it. And a whole bunch of other stuff which y'all will see shortly in this haul. So, that's what I went to True Valley for. So we're back in Trinity Mall now. But you know, sis saw some snacks. Sis had to try some new snacks, try some new things. Because you only know I love to try new things. So, let me get into this. I picked up three limes. And I saw that this was part of the recipe. I guess for like the salsa and the guacamole and things like that. So I'm like, you know what, I'll just pick up three limes. You can never go wrong with having limes in your kitchen. So I made sure I picked up. These limes looking so nice though. All they so like, yes. I don't like them old looking limes and thing. Like you see any vegetables that looking old? Mm -mm. You can never get me to buy that. I just real scorn things, you know. I just can't buy no old thing. The second thing is this bag of lettuce. When I was in the grocery, I was like real washing it hard. Because the bag was fuzzy from the, from the, um, how it was in the fridge. I was like, this lettuce is good. I just be so skeptical with vegetables, especially lettuce. I just be very skeptical. I just be very skeptical of where I'm buying it from. Right? Because there are times where my mom would have bought lettuce and when, when you look in the bag, you see like a snail, a baby snail on the lettuce and them kind of thing. Oh, this time um, we bought lettuce at the side of the road in Fre not Frederick Street. Where have I in town at the side of the road? The lettuce have all kind of dead fly and all kind of drama in it. And I don't know. That is just make me feel sick. I sorry, really. That's make me feel real sick. So I prefer to buy my thing in the grocery. I sorry. I just I just, just be traumatized. Or probably I just not accustomed to that. <laughs> Let me know how all you feel about it. But seeing a dead fly in my lettuce, I ain't even feeling to eat that no more. Garbage. Right? <laughs> I know that there's a possibility. You can still see something in the lettuce. I understand it come from the earth, right? Right. So sis also got some tomatoes, imported tomatoes. I got some imported tomatoes, as you can see, it's it's huge. Now, these were a bit more expensive. So the only reason, guys, I picked this up, just for the burritos. And I wanted to make some salsa. Now, will I continue buying this? No, I will not. I don't have money to waste like that. But earlier, I just want to tell you all that these tomatoes are the best. If... It didn't taste good. I don't know what to do. But when I went away, my sister, she was making a tomato and cheese sandwich with roasted beef. And I was like, sis, tomatoes, you, you know, in my head, I wasn't telling her that. I was like, what's she doing with them tomatoes, boy? That isn't good. Because, to be honest, I don't like Trinidadian tomatoes. I don't. After I taste this, these tomatoes, I say it's very sweet. American tomatoes are very sweet. And I was in total shock. Total shock. So that's why I bought these. Like, again, American tomatoes are very sweet. And you see how big and juicy they are? My next bag I have here now. Garlic. 
Only well, you know, nice and mass for the burritos. And I have my onions. The reason I pick up those is because the local tomatoes, I mean the local onions that they had, it had a whole bunch of flies and things on it. I was like, mm mm. I will take this one. So we have another bag here. And we have some snacks in this bag. Yeah, you picked up some dirty potatoes. So I don't know if I'll ever hear about this brand, but I also put up a poll on my Instagram some days ago and I asked you all to recommend not a poll. The question thing and you all recommended some snacks to me. And I was startled by this response that I got from somebody and they were like dirty to me. I don't want to say tomatoes. Dirty potatoes. And I'm like, what? Dirty potatoes? What do you what is that? <laughs> so I picked up two flavors, right? Because I saw it in True Value in Prince City Mall. So I got the which one is this? So cream and onion and I got the jalapeno one. What does it say? Jalapeno heat. So what is very interesting about these dirty potatoes is that it says that it's they, they it says that they cook their chips kettle style in a premium peanut oil blend. So that's very interesting. Peanut oil as well as they say kettle style. So I'm I'm wondering if they mean like how kettle corn this be. How it's be kinda of sweetener. So I'm studying if it's gonna be like a sweet and spicy kind of thing. We will see. But I'm going to try them out and I'll post it on my Instagram story, like my reaction to trying it out. Or I might just do a whole video with all of these stuff that you all would have recommended for me in that Instagram question thingy. Most likely. So we're going to move on to this cream crackers from Jacobs. And the reason I bought these is to try something um, other than cricks. So this is regular crackers, right? And it says that it is light, crispy. I didn't see, I didn't see them both salted or anything. I don't know. But I wanted to try these out to see. As I told you all, I love to try new things. So I also, you all know, I had to get my choco bomb. Like, if you know me, you know, they my snack right here. But low key, I'm trying to ease up on it because my cavities. When I eat in this snack, I just have to take it little by little. And I fed up to all of that already in my um, previous all that I did. The one before. Right. So, I also got this snack. This terrible, terrible snack. It's called Newtons, right? I absolutely hate this snack. I actually bought two of these, but I ate one. But when I reached home, I was feeling hungry. I was like, you know what? I'm just munch on a little something. And guys, don't buy this snack. Do not try it. I do not like it. <laughs> so study me. If only want to buy it, go ahead and buy it. But I picked it up because I was like, you know what? It looks like a healthy snack. Let me try something different. It said, even though it said fig on it, so it was kind of like a red flag already, like, how was this going to taste good? A fig, a fig, a kind of fig cookie, girl, where are you going to do this? What kind of snack is this? So, long story short, it didn't taste good. It basically tasted like raisins, mainly raisins. The filling is crushed, not crushed, pureed raisins. So, if you're not into that, I don't recommend that you buy this. Mm -mm. For the price, $6. Mm -mm. I mean, it's a healthy thing to wear, so I guess it's good. You do, you do what you want to do. Anyways, we have some tea here. Wait, no. before we get into the tea. We have some cookies. We have some Nutri snacks cookies. Now, these are also some healthy snacks. I tried this brand before, and I did like... I bought the apple cinnamon flavor this time i said you know what's this let me try something new we went with the coconut <coughs> flavor and i'm excited to try it out i already know the texture of the cookie as i told you all it is a healthy thing so it's not gonna taste like the average cookie so what i realized is it's, it is kind of like lighter and uh, grainy it's light grainy and crunchy so it's kind of like a kind of hard cookie, but not too hard, right? Because, you know, it's a healthy thing. They, they make it differently and the ingredients are different as opposed to your average cookie. If you're not into them kind of grainy, healthy things, don't buy it. But if you're into that and you want something that tastes good, they the snack for you. <laughs> I bought some of these chocolates, well, hot chocolate tea mixes. And I decided to get them in like the sample packs instead of buying the whole box. Because I didn't try this brand before and I think the smartest thing to do is to try any samples and then you say, okay, you know what, I tasted this flavor, let me buy the box. Instead of you buy the box 
and then you don't like it and we're gonna do the rest of the tea right so this is from cafe barista and i bought a couple flavors of the chocolate this one is the milk chocolate pack i got the dark chocolate excited to try this one i have another flavor but it's in another bag okay i also got the cafe barista sensationally soggy french vanilla cappuccino mix so this is coffee right i got this in a sample size as well i also put up a bag of golden potatoes because you know when i make my little breakfast potatoes and i i'll have my potatoes ready so our next bag we have tortillas tortillas we have our tortillas and this is for our burritos so guys funny story when i went to buy them there were two brands this and another one the other one looked bigger of course i want a bigger burrito like why not and i only watching it and i saying oh gosh i want to get this one but my mind said me buy this one buy this one i feel like i just feel like that's go talking to me to be honest and it is always be right well god is always be right so i'm like you know what listen girl listen go talk and say listen buy this one buy this one so i bought two of this because it only had eight and the other one had 12 in it and the other one was bigger so say you know what sis listen and buy this one buy two next bag we have more snacks so i got this um iced oatmeal cookies these taste really good nothing much to say about her and drum roll for the milano okay <laughs> so y'all also recommended this to me i always seen these are wrong never paid any attention never tried it because of the price but today we're gonna try it so yeah i'm gonna try it this is the double dark chocolate one i'm like okay yeah expensive you better taste good I also got oh my gosh y'all Ole came out with a new chips so we have, and it's a huge pack too eh? so we have restaurant style white corn chips from Ole when I saw this I was like they're really stepping up to the times they're really trying to be a little classy you know cater okay, for everybody so I'm totally excited to try this out guys when I tell you totally, I mean it. And if I buy the restaurant style chips, well, totally think I'm gonna buy to go with it. Of course, I had to pick up my tostitos, and I got it in the avocado salsa flavor. So yes, just yes, avocado salsa. I love avocado. I love salsa. Um, the excitement. To try it with those chips right so next i also decided to try the popcorners in white cheddar i fell in love with this snack like two years ago when i was on a plane and they gave me the red pack which is the kettle corn and i was like oh my gosh thank god i took this one because you know you just have a little you just have your choices and ever since i was in love with the red pack i never tried anything else never bothered because i was like kettle corn is the boss but today i say you know what let me try the white cheddar. You never know. You never know. I also decided to pick up this snack. It's a um, Coco Cell biscuit from Nestle. Never tried it before. Wanted to try something new. Right? And these are all my snacks for the month. I don't know if it's going to last the month. But, you know, there's my monthly kind of like shopping for snacks. Or if, if it has like something special I want to make. This is my monthly shopping thing. The actual shopping, like grocery stuff for our household, that takes place separately and I usually don't do a grocery haul of it, but maybe soon I will. I don't know. But I mainly, my hauls are mainly just like my personal shopping, like they will be quite like, you know. <laughs> Anyways, I told you I have another flavor of the chocolate tea from Cafe Barista and this one was the hazelnut hot cocoa mix. And earlier, when I in that section, I was like, wait, now, nah, Lasco. Lasco, all they trying to work kind of thing, all they selling hot chocolate too. I didn't even notice, like, am I late? 
like seriously or let me know in the comment section in the comment section like am i late i i really didn't i didn't know last school selling tea until now so you know just take this the um sample because i'm about to waste no money on no box you gotta try it out first boom i decided to pick up some dixie in in wheat because you know i'm trying to be a little healthy these days so i got a semi wheat flavor yeah just basic dixie salted crackers it can't go wrong so i got um six extra large eggs i also picked up some turkey toppers we tried this before and it was amazing it looks kind of like what is this but it's really cheap and it tastes really good guys so y'all should try this out next i got some mozzarella cheese because y'all know mozzarella cheese is the boss oh it was like me um mozzarella cheese parmesan cheese pepper jack cheese is the boss too but yeah i love mozzarella cheese i got it to go with the burritos of course next we have some pepperoni slices we tried this before it tastes good so i just bought it again because we tried it before so yeah y'all should definitely try this i recommend it tastes good so next i picked up some hot pockets and i've never tried it before so i was like okay cool but i don't realize it's from nestle hmm nestle all you have thinking is the american one that is we talking about but you know what i'm still happy i used to real post on like frozen food and laugh at people who is be just buying ones that are frozen food and just heating it up but now look at me <laughs> doing the same thing but this one has garlic buttery crust and y'all i love like garlic crust and garlic bread and things like that i love those things so i'm like yes i need to buy this one right i also picked up two original philadelphia um i got to say cheesecake but wait a second cream cheese right because y'all know sis is gonna make her cinnamon rolls and i ran out of this so i say let me pick this up one time and also for the burritos we need our cheese not our cream cheese because they asked for sour cream and cream cheese is our cream best friend so we go use this i got some new zealand cheese which is our typical trinidadian cheese because you can't go wrong with the regular cheese you can't go wrong did i miss anything no oh yes i forgot to show you all this the last item is this craft sandwich spread now all you know anything from craft this tastes good anything craft make this tastes good right so yes i got this america's favorite sandwich spread of course for my burritos and sandwiches that i'm gonna make in the future or whatever i have my sandwich spread i just wanted, to, wanted like a nice little fancy sauce so i got just that okay guys so this is the end of my collective haul i really hope that y'all enjoyed it um make sure that you all comment down below and let me know if you like these type of videos or if you prefer like hauls focused on different things for example like a pennywise haul true value haul you all want it separately or do you all like how it's collective like this because i really enjoyed making this video it's just that they will be kind of longer because everything just in one right so yeah um and also make sure that you leave a like on the video and that you turn on that post notification bell so that you'll see when i post another video which will be very soon because i try to post at least every single week but you all know my goal is to be posting three times a week that's what i used to be doing before but these days i just sure that you're gonna see my face at least once for the week sure about that right so i'll see you all in my next video bye